Hi, in this video we're going to discuss how we can use PowerShell to change the SharePoint custom form location from default to a, an alternative production environment of your choice. Critical prerequisite is the environment that you're changing it to must be of the production type. So I've done some of this ahead of, a ahead of time, but let's just walk through this. So first things first, to make the necessary PowerShell commandlets available, you're going to need to install a module, and that module is Microsoft.PowerApps.Administration PowerShell. That's going to make available get admin power app SharePoint form environment, which will allow you to see the current value. So before we change that, the current value, as you can see here, had default in the name. We then did get admin power app environment just to ensure we've got the valid environment name for the environment that we want to make it become, which in our instance, we we chose production. And once, once we'd got our environment name for the environment that we wanted to change it to, we do the set admin power app SharePoint form environment, specify the environment environment name switch, and then pass the environment name. Now, if you do want to see other available commands, you can easily do this by doing get command, specifying the module name. In this instance, we just whittled it down to anything that had SharePoint in the name. So if we run that, we can see we've, we've even got a reset option above and beyond the get and set as well. Now, what, what I then did to see this in action is that if we find ourselves in a SharePoint list of the document library type in this instance, and we come to our integrate, you've got Power Automate flows, which as far as I could tell, that's not impacted by this it very much so hopefully that will become a possibility so those flows as far as i can tell will still end up in the default environment whereas we're specifically talking about forms that are customized through a power apps canvas app essentially so i already created one and whilst you won't see it in your traditional view of apps what we can do is if we come back over into PowerShell and we do a get admin power app and get all get basically get all the power apps that are within the same environment that we changed the SharePoint form environment to be, we'll notice that the top entry is the documents on Columbus forms. And that corresponds to here. Whereas if we had not done that, they would have gone into our default environment, in our case, being personal. And although I'm just double checking new app from template. Yeah, so they would have gone into personal as that is our default environment. So I just wanted to just kind of do a video that went through the motions of changing this and the impact that it has. Thank you for watching.